Hello traders, my name is Grigor Hurat and welcome to a new video update. Uh, today we will take a look on the Euro Dollar, Dollar Swiss, S&P 500 and oil. On Euro Dollar, as you know, we are tracking this huge running triangle on this weekly chart and we are now focused on wave E which is final lack of this triangle. Wave E should be subdivided by three legs, so we are tracking a free wave movement from these 2012 lows. Um, we believe that this wave B uh, has already completed here at 12660 after only three waves of a pullback followed by a very sharp bounce um, through November and now in December which appears to be start of an impulsive rally in wave C. So if our predictions are correct then of course this wave C should be subdivided by five flags because this is an impulsive flag and ideally uh, market will reach equality level in wave C compared to wave A which uh, in our case comes in around 138 but I would not be surprised to see maybe even 1.4 uh, levels in 2013 okay so for now we are bullish and we will remain uh, bullish as long the market is trading above this recent swing low uh, from where market uh, rallied strongly last week in clearly in impulsive fashion also notice that um, prices uh, extended and closed above this falling trend line connected from September highs this um, means that this corrective channel is broken which is very important indication for um, uptrend continuation so if our uh, count is correct then of course this market should continue higher in wave 3 of C. Um, now usually when the, um, the trend lines are broken then those broken trend lines will turn into supports in a, uh, in a bullish trend or into a resistance in a bearish trend. In our case uh, this uh, should be a very nice support if the pullback will occur in coming sessions around 138 uh, what, sorry 1.3050 okay so we will be tracking this pullback very closely here is our uh, four hour wave count nice five waves early in wave one uh, quite untypical um, sharp and deep wave two pullback but notice that um, this wave two found the support at wave 4 of one lesser degree which is very common in um, Elliott wave theory uh, so we would not be surprised to see something similar now in wave 2 of one lesser degree maybe uh, this is already the final stage of this wave 1 so maybe we will see wave 2 pull back back into this minor consolidation range um, which I believe was wave 4 of this black wave 1 so this zone should be very interesting for a bounce higher if the pullback of course will occur um, also notice that this that this current rally is very sharp and actually is sharper compared to this wave one and i really like this because it means that um, this third wave that we are tracking is now uh, actually confirming our wave count because we know that third waves are usually much stronger much sharper compared to uh, waves one okay so i think that uh, this is just another uh, confirmation that we are in a wave three however final confirmation would be after a breakout um, higher out of this uh, which I believe is a base channel. Okay, so we know that if mar this market will, let's say that if wave two will pull back will occur and then extend sharply higher through this base channel resistance line, then th this will be final confirmation that we are in a wave three of three in larger degree of wave C. Okay, uh, but anyhow, for now markets uh, are bullish here. Uh, prices are bullish on the euro dollar while this support holds okay because we know that any pullback must not uh, let's say that we will be tracking wave 2 pullback then this black wave 2 pullback must not retrace more than 100 percent of this wave one if we will not get this uh, pullback in wave two and if maybe euro dollar will just continue straight up 
and close uh, <coughs> well above this trend line then uh, uh, of course I will relabel the wave count and will mark this wave 1 and wave 2 low right here okay uh, and in such case uh, it means that market would already be in wave 3 of 3 but for now I think it's still too soon um, because uh, <coughs> because of these intraday waves we suggest that this is actually <coughs> 5 waves of recovery near completion okay um, and now uh, let's also take a look on this weekly technical chart uh, this strong bullish reversal that occurred in last week is very significant I think notice that the uh, market found the support at this 50 period moving average after three waves of a pullback okay uh, then market uh, opened lower uh, then a previous close on this weekly basis and then closed significantly higher well above uh, previous uh, open okay so and even previous highs so this is called a bullish reversal candle which um, confirms our idea of an uptrend continuation into a wave free of wave uh, C of this wave C um, of E okay uh, now let's take a look also on dollar Swiss. Dollar Swiss is, is of course showing a very similar price action. Uh, firstly, here is the weekly chart. We identified low, temporary low of this dollar Swiss here, and from here we are tracking a larger three waves of recovery. This was a completed wave A here, a five wave rally in wave A. Um, with an ending diagonal in wave 5 and we of course turned bearish after this trend line breakout since then prices are trading nicely lower which I believe will be a free wave temporary corrective movement in wave B which will retrace into a, a this towards this uh, support of wave 4 uh, around 0. Point, um, let me check 0. 0.850 and um, 0.880 levels okay so I expect test of these levels before we may see um, any reversal uh, higher in impulsive maneuver um, on this daily chart we are tracking this free wave uh, free waves down that we mentioned in wave B um, this is called a zigzag that I'm tracking this was a wave A and then a free wave movement in wave C. This wave C was actually um, an expanded flat because if we take a look closely here uh, you can see that this was a free wave fall into a new low which is allowed in expanded flats and then this was a five wave rally in wave C back above wave A ex uh, back above um, end point of wave A okay so uh, we mark this as an expanded flat in wave uh, B which was completed with minor ending diagonal here in wave 5 of C uh, if you remember this was a very strong indication for a change in trend and since then the market is trading nicely lower uh, <coughs> notice that um, we have nice five waves fall in wave one followed by a three waves corrective pullback in wave two and this now becomes a very sharp decline again much stronger uh, <coughs> much sharper compared to this wave one so this once again confirms the idea that uh, we are in wave three um, but I would like to see some pullback in this week back towards these broken supports that will tend to react as a resistance in wave 2 of 3 so this market of course is bearish and any pullback that may occur should be uh, should prove corrective okay mm. now let's take a look on the S&P 500 on the S&P 500 as you know we are bullish within this wave D for all time highs this wave D is part of a huge reverse expanding triangle but this 4 hour chart, uh, 4 hour count <coughs> suggests that market is headed lower into a corrective pullback 
back towards uh, one of these support levels uh, because we have seen a daily close uh, on Friday below this uh, rising trend line. So I suspect we will see more sideways <coughs> or even lower price action before uptrend may resume. In fact, I'm also tracking this uh, possible head and shoulders pattern here. Uh, this was left shoulder head and now right shoulder could be in progress here because market reverse from these levels of the left shoulder of the uh, upper side of this left shoulder so of course I'm expecting to see a test of the lower side of this left shoulder which comes in around just above 14 level so I think this <coughs> whole zone here should be very interesting uh, once is tested if tested but I think we will see a test in this week because as, as I said this was only first lack of decline but if wave 2 correct if wave 2 is underway then we know that we need three waves down because uh, these are minimum structures of corrective patterns um, and now let's take a look on crude oil on a crude oil weekly chart we are tracking this huge triangle placed in the middle of this wave B rally so we expect um, higher levels in 2013 um, but I suspect that this wave E which is final lack of this triangle is still incomplete so maybe a little bit downside towards 80 82 levels <coughs> but definitely not below this invalidation level uh, so ideally market will bounce higher in impulsive manner after 80 82 levels are tested and the daily chart uh, here we have a structure and the reason why I think this wave E is still incomplete this was a leading diagonal in wave A okay followed by a very slow choppy corrective recovery within this trading channel uh, this recovery cannot be counted impulsively so I think it's corrective which means it's part of incomplete downtrend um, <clears throat> but this fall uh, two weeks back um, occurred in impulsive manner uh, so actually a week back not two weeks back so I believe that this was first lack uh, of a five wave uh, fall in wave C and now wave 2 um, is in progress wave 2 is a corrective lag which means it could be very near completion because this is an A, B and C lag uh, however if I'm correct then of course reversal must occur from around uh, 88 levels which means between 50 and 61.8 percent retracement area uh, so uh, an impulsive decline from those levels which means a 5 wave decline back uh, to 86 levels uh, would be very strong indication that this corrective reversal is finished labeled as wave 2 and that market is headed lower in wave 3 of C okay so mm, for now I would be very patient and wait on this uh, impulsive reaction lower before we may confirm this uh, weakness on crude oil anyhow uh, this market is bearish while the prices are trading below 90.30 level uh, okay traders this is it for now and have a good day bye